Hi, I'm CIA with the SPNN. We are out here near Stillwater at Mopas Garden, a certified organic vegetable farm that sells at the St. Paul Farmer's Market. We are here to interview Mopas' mother, Mei Li, and ask her about her methods of growing her produce organically. Let's go meet her. Winter rye and peas, that kind we plant in August is the best time and you just leave them on the land through the winter. Hello, Mei Li. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. So it's kind of chilly today since we are almost at the end of September. Today I wear my jacket because it's really <laughs> cold. It's... All right, so tell us what you have here. Okay, I have um, Brussels sprout oh, and I have okay. lemongrass here. And there's my uh, bean. So what is your favorite vegetable? Uh, it's fennel. Fennel? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a fennel. Yep. Okay. I like that. It's fun to plant and also they are really beautiful. Yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, welcome to my farm. This is Mungpa's garden and this is um, Ting Ying Evelyn, my two-year-old daughter. And this little one here is the, my seven-month-old boy, Nutsang Erin. And it's almost the first week of October. If you would have came out in, let's say, May or June, in the early peak season in July, you would have seen all green, fruitful, with different colors of vegetables. But now, as you can see where the potatoes were recently, it's all brown. So this is what it looks like after we till everything over. This is being our fifth year in operation. Our original intent is to buy farmland and own our own farming operation eventually. This farming operation is really a family effort. About eight children, including me, so three brothers and four sisters. Every one of us have a role, you know, either marketing or writing the newsletter. And my mother, May, she's really someone who is phenomenal. I mean, the amount of hard work that she puts into the farm and the amount of planning, and it's all in her head. So it's kind of like years of accumulated experience. She also currently is a master gardener for Ramsey County. She does a lot of volunteer work in the community, um, educating other people about farming. Not only is she a mom, she you know takes care of my grandma, um, who recently passed away. So she does a lot of balancing between family and work. Organic to us wasn't um, a new really concept. It's something we've always been practicing but we just didn't know you know what were the different types of techniques and prior to you know us coming here to the US the first thing introduced to us was just like pickle farming and doing things the way we know how to do it. Uh, planting in you know smaller beds. So just really the technique of farming is very different. Also from post-study in college, um, I learned about uh, organic food and just maintaining a healthy lifestyle and being sustainable. And so through that, uh, I really was inspired to start my own business that fostered those values. When my grandmother had passed away, uh, my mom's mom, um, she had cancer and I was really, when I went into this farming business, I was really also interested in learning about cancer. A lot of uh, pesticides can actually cause your insulin to decrease. You can develop diabetes over time. You're more prone to cancer. And so I'm thinking to myself, if this is what's causing it, then maybe we can, if we grow our own food and we kind of have a trusting knowledge that we're going to be okay by the end of the day, then preventative care wise, this will be a great idea. At the end of the day, we're really proud that we're bringing these vegetables that is truly highly rich in nutrient to, the, to our audience. That's our water tank on top of the hill and the method with that is that there would be enough gravity through the drip irrigation to bring water down to the rest of the land instead of investing in a Honda pump, which that would have to travel uphill. So that has worked quite well this year. We do have a biodiverse um, environment, like our beekeeper over there. We have um, honey over there, which is uh, kept by bear honey. And he comments that we have one of the most uh, delicious honey 
So every year as a token of appreciation, we give our CSA members a jar of honey. Potato is really hard to do because we have Colorado potato beetle and they eat a lot. And every day I come in, my children come in, and first thing we do, we just grab a bottle and everybody walk aisle by aisle, then we pick the uh, beetle from the potato. And we got about 18 pounds per season. It's the least selfish business you can ever go into. Every person I met along the road and I needed help with, they were so willing to give us those resources. They were willing to say, hey, here's how you do it, or here, here try this variety. Um, you can really have a huge farm, but if you don't know the markets, it's really hard for them. So I think with, the, with our small operation, we try to do that. Um, I can't yet fully invest my full time into this farming business yet, but I think if we were to, I think we could really grow. My daughter, she said that uh, I'd be my own boss. I'd be boss for her. And when I planted my, uh, I don't, I don't remember that it's lunch time, or I don't, I don't worry about the hour. I have to look at the hour, I have to punch in and out. And uh, I look at my crop, it's growing, it's beautiful. My mom, she's like, one day you guys are gonna get back to wanting to farm, you're gonna, you don't wanna be micromanaged, you want independence, you want to raise your own food, you want that sustainability, and that's when you're my age, you're older and you're retired, and you're gonna want what I want now, but you're not going to see it until then. So she's hoping that really we can buy farms so that she can, she said she wants two acres for each child at the end of this and that we own so we know what hard work is and we learn to appreciate um, life and appreciate farming. So the next time we are at the St. Paul Farmers Market, be sure to stop by their booth and say hello. Until then, I'm Sia Yang with SPNN and remember to eat good food. <laughs>